In part three of this problem, we were asked to find the probability that a randomly selected study participant has a height more than 72 inches. Using the z-score formula, we find that the z-score for 72 is 0.8. We will do this problem using method one, where we actually draw the normal distribution by going to the shade normal function, second distribution, arrow, enter, and then inputting the z-score for 72, which is 0.8, and the TI-83 understanding of infinity, which was E engineering exponent, 99. Now when we click enter, the calculator again draws the distribution and shades the area from a z-score of 0.8 up to infinity. The probability shown is the probability that a participant in the study would have a height of more than 72 inches. To three significant figures, our answer would be 0.212. Had we been asked to find this probability to four significant figures, the answer then would have been 0.2119. We will again clear the drawing by clicking on the second draw button and then clicking enter. And now back to the home screen, second function quit and clear the home screen. The second method of doing this problem requires going to the distribution button, second distribution, selecting the number two, the normal cumulative density function, and now inputting the z-score for 72, which is 0.8, with a comma, and then the double E engineering exponent 99, which is the TI-83 understanding of infinity. When we hit enter, our answer is the same as we saw using the first method, except we don't get the graph. Sometimes you just simply want to get the answer, but the graph is nice to reaffirm that you have done this problem correctly. Finally, the third method uses the normal cumulative density function and the raw scores as follows. We will go to the normal cumulative density function, second, distribution, two, and now input the raw scores of 72, followed by a comma, then infinity, E99, then the mean of this distribution, which was 69.6, .6, and then a comma, and the standard deviation, which is three. When we hit enter, we again get the same number as we did as the previous two methods. However, again, had the methods one and two required any rounding of the z-score, this answer would be different because the TI-83 doesn't round the interim steps internally as it does the calculation.